Hi everyone. Well, you know, it's still summer. I've changed up my background again to have this nice background behind me. It's like I'm sitting on a patio. Maybe I'm in Greece. Maybe I'm in Italy or who knows where I am. Well, I'm in, I'm in my bedroom. I know where I am. I'm going to haven't started drinking yet. But anyway, yeah, so we're going to do another battle of the wines with this nice summery background. It's going to be a battle of purple toad against purple toad. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Friday night wine diaries. So excited tonight. We are going to have another battle. I know it. We just, it's like summer. It's just an, oh my God, it's just a nice time to try some new things, have a little fun, have a little wine. So much fun, right? So anyway, today, after I did my last kind of battle of the peach wines and purple toad, one for the Paducah peach and I just I just had to get some more peach peach wine I figured it's a good wine it's a summer wine who knows maybe millions and millions of people saw my video and they went right to Paducah Kentucky to order all the peach wine I could not let that happen being a responsible wine drinker like I am I could not let that happen so I decided to go online order some peach wine and I was thinking Oh my gosh, you know, I was just talking about that mango wine where they came out with a new habanero mango wine and they got the other one, Mango Breeze, which I've had, which I really liked. And I thought, you know, I'm going to have to order some of that to have a battle of that to see which one is like it. First, I was going to do a couple of other wines with it, but you know, I think I'm just going to keep it to that too. So I don't have that much open at the same time. Of course, if I don't like one, then it's going down the drain anyway, right? But yeah, so when I went online, they were having 30% off. Well, you know, I had to take advantage of that. So I got two Paducah peach wines. So I got two of those. Um, I also decided to try another of their dry wines again. So I got a Cabernet Sauvignon. Purple toad. So I'm excited to try that. Not tonight, but we'll try that another night. And then again, I got the two of these Paducah peach wines. So excited. They should last for the uh, summer, I think. And then I got, I just opened these so you wouldn't have to put up with the noise. So this one is the Mango Breeze and it's 12%. Of course, it's my little cute purple toad. And they are both actually rated the same on the sweetness scale. They are both rated three out of six for the sweetness scale. So that is the Mango Breeze. And then this one, I think I do smell something back here. And this one is the Mango Habanero. Again, 12% alcohol. It's also rated three on their sweetness scale. I had to show you the corks on these ones. They're a little bit different. So they both say purple toad and then this one has the purple toad here well he's just a toad there but this one doesn't have the toad there this one just says purple toad but it's upside down they got the purple toad on both ends of the cork and the other one doesn't so anyway I just thought that was cute so you're probably thinking what is Nancy going to have to eat? Because if you're not into wine, maybe you're here for the snacks. I know. So yeah, I was banging my head on this one. So I settled for pizza. I know. So I've got this thin crust pizza. Though it didn't cut, they, they didn't cut it like they normally cut thin crust pizza. So I've got a Hawaiian pizza. So we've got ham. We've got pineapple. And I know if I'm not offending you with the wine, 
I'm offending you with the pineapple pizza because I know there's probably millions of people that say pineapple does not belong on pizza, Nancy. I happen to love it. So yes, yeah, so I've got peppers on this, onions. I've got the Canadian ham. I've got the pineapple and sausage. I know. So that is going to be sweet and a little spicy at the same time. So anyway, if you are not familiar with Purple Toad, love that winery. I think they said they were rated like number one in Kentucky for their sweet wines. They just opened another place, probably still in that Paducah, Kentucky area. Um, they're really known for their sweet wines. They've got some nice merchandising. This time in my box they sent me their menu of all the different wines they have now they're not all available bottled at the same time but these are what they have I guess when you go there to their winery so if you get a glass it's four dollars and uh, for a glass and I think just about everything is fourteen dollars and fifteen cents a bottle and then the other side too so they have the dry wines and then I think I had that burble, bourbon barrel Cabernet last time, and I I didn't really like it. But anyway, so I'm excited to just try the regular one. But I probably should make a list of the different ones I've had. Yeah, they have had some really, really good wines. Again, $14.15 a bottle. If you spend $50, you do get free shipping. Uh, it ships really fast. I mean, yeah, I had this a few days ago. I'm just waiting for a chance to video it and then try to schedule it out with things I've already pre-recorded. Looking forward to that. This time I did order a little tiny wine glass too from Purple Toad. So we got the Purple Toad logo right there and of course we got the Purple Toad on the back. And he's just a little guy so we're going to put the habanero one in here. And they've never sent me little gifts before either but I got a Purple Toad pen. I caught it. <laughs> Good thing. Okay. Well, it's not really a good thing that I caught it. Just good reflexes. So purple toad. So I got that. And I thought they oh, and they sent me a little refrigerator magnet. Purple, of course. That says purple toad. Like I said, I've never got free gifts from them before. So I was like, whoa, I was excited. Alrighty, but we are here to taste some wine and if you guys think of any kind of battles like i know i want to do a sangria i've got two different um <coughs> uh wines for sangria so i probably am going to have to go to a store and pick out a third one i don't know so anyway we're going to pour a little bit of the mango peach in this one or sorry mango breeze and then we will put I'm going to put the purple toad in front, the mango habanero, and this one. I'm excited to try this. I mean, I love, love this strawberry jalapeno wine. I've got two bottles that have been in the refrigerator for a while. Awesome, awesome wine. That is so good. I'm going to go for the, for the plain one first. Alrighty, so let's kind of scroll this around. It's Friday. I hope you guys are having had a fabulous week. I hope your work week went by issue free and you are just ready to kind of celebrate the weekend, celebrate you, celebrate your family, celebrate your friends, your fur babies, celebrate. You worked hard for it. You deserve it. Okay, I'm going to sniff it first. I just kind of smell well. A mango and maybe a Chardonnay. So anyway, cheers, everyone. It's, it's, I mean, they say it's three, uh, three out of six for sweetness. It still is on the sweet side. It's a very, very mild uh, mango flavor. So just a nice kind of tropical flavor, a nice sipping wine. It's been in the refrigerator. It's nice and cold, so it's nice summer wine to have maybe out on your deck, out on your patio, maybe in a kind of thermos down at the beach or the lake. Nice little summer wine. Really light, really flavorful. Alrighty. Gonna be brave. Going for the habanero. I think you probably know instantly when I don't like something. Okay. 
kind of smells the same, but maybe just, just a hint of spice. Yeah, just a hint of spice. Cheers, everyone. It, it's hot. I need some water. That is hot. That is definitely going to be a sip, sip, sip wine. I just had to put that fire out. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like spices. I will definitely have it. But I think it, it, you feel the heat right here. And now I'm kind of feeling it right in my heart. But it's, it's just as sweet as this one. So you still have that kind of tropical mango type flavor on the light side. But then all of a sudden, as I was kind of swirling it around in my mouth, it was like right up in here and near. It's like where the heat first hit me. It was like, whoa. I'm going to have another quick sip of this. And yeah, I'll try not to make a face. I can't help it if I do. I, I just make faces. Cheers. It is good. I like the, uh, the strawberry hap strawberry jalapeno better, but I would still drink this. It's uh, something that you probably don't even need this much in your glass to just kind of sip here and there, and you'll be good to go. And of course, if you need to put the fire out, you have this one. So, so good. I'm gonna try to have a little piece of my pizza it's just weird that they cut it in such big pieces this time. I'm not going to get a bite of everything. Mm. Got a bite of the pepper and some of the ham. First I'll do this one to wash it down. You don't notice the heat on this once you've got Kind of that hot pepper in your mouth. Anyway, that's my battle of the purple toad against purple toad. They're both really good. If I want to, like, just kind of sit out on the deck, maybe pour a glass. I know I'm going to be out there for a while. I would go with the mango breeze. If maybe I'm having something to eat and I've already had some water or something like that, yeah, glass of water on the side and I know I'm going to be eating I might have a little bit of this and then just alternate this with some water maybe until I get used to it but anyway both of them are really good if you like uh, spices you like uh, jalapenos you like habaneros and you like fruity wines it's a perfect perfect blend again strawberry jalapeno that's my favorite but I would definitely have the mango habanero again and I do like the Mango Breeze. I did have that last year, and it is a really good wine, too. So, anyway, that's it from Purple Toad. So, yeah, they have some really, really fun wines to try. If you are into the fun summer fruity wines, they have got so much to choose from. They now sell some little bottles. They sell some in cans. Again, they don't ship to every state because of, um, you know, the state's laws or whatever about sending... Uh, alcohol to residences but if you are lucky enough and you like sweet wines and they ship to your area you are going to love this just remember you do have to sign for it so when I was working at the office and I wanted to order some wine I just had it shipped to the office because I was there I could sign for it and if it was heavy the guys would take it out to my car or we would have a few bottles while we were at work and uh, of course I'm home now so yeah and I can sign for it anytime I want but anyway I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in spending some time with me i would love to hear some of your favorite summer wines or any wines that you want me to try or another battle like i said i know i want to squeeze in a sangria before the end of the summer and any of the summer wines you guys can think of that you'd like to see a little taste comparison or a little battle about that i'm all for it but anyway thank you guys so much for stopping in spending some time with me I appreciate you guys so much. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope you go out, have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. I love you guys so much. And we will see you 
in our next video. Bye-bye.